whether it's racing to breeding. There's just so much that I love about the whole industry. So the excitement of success was the biggest drug. There's nothing that replaces the buzz of race riding. If you're in the front line of battle, you want him beside you. How's that? How's far? Well-mannered, serious, dedicated. Loyal, consistent, reliable. Very few people you will meet ever in your lifetime have those traits as strong as Pat has. You couldn't say enough good things about him. In this business where a nose makes a difference, you want somebody who is absolutely steadfast, and that's something that you've always had with Pat Small. I never had to worry too much about it. I got on a horse, uh, I'd say I was about 12 years of age. I had a Welsh mountain pony that was in the process of being broken. It was as wild as a goat. I fired Pat up on him, and he seemed to stay, stay on anyway. From the minute I felt the speed of a thoroughbred, that's when I decided I wanted to be nothing else other than a jockey. He was a natural rider. Fifteen years of age, I signed on my apprenticeship. He was apprenticed to a good man, Tom Lacey. He gave me an unbelievable start. He was a very special apprentice, rode very well. Um, Always oh, a real gentleman, a lovely way about him. It didn't take long for him to be noticed. A vacancy arose and I snapped him up. Straight away you could see he was perfect. Johnny Murta was with me at that time as first jockey and I would always get an up and coming youngster to ride second fiddle to him. Oh, it definitely caught my attention, you know. <laughs> We were very, very competitive, and when two people are like that in the one environment, we, we clashed a lot. You could see that he was very ambitious, and having a second jockey that ambitious is not too good. I wanted to be like Johnny Murta. I wanted to be riding first choice. He came to me one day, just after Michael Canaan had been lured away from Dermot Weld to, to go to Coolmore. He said, Dermot Weld has offered me the job. What do you think I should do? I said, my goodness, you can't turn that down. That's the, the, the job you want. You'll be the biggest stable in the country. You'll be champion jockey. From the very first year, he wrote an awful lot of winners for me. Yeah, he hit the ground running. They're on. It was a union made in heaven in some respects. With those big jobs come pressures, but there was never any doubt that Pat was going to deal with those pressures. He blossomed. He rode Vinnie Rowe to win four consecutive Irish St. Ledgers. Vinnie Rowe and Pat Smollett striding away to an unprecedented fourth St. Ledger. He rode a brilliant race to win the Matriarch. Patrick Smollett grabs the throw of the Matriarch. One, two, three. One horse that I felt was very important was Free Eagle for Moidler Stud. His first group win was in the CL Wells Stakes. His first group one winner was in the Moidler Stud Stakes. They were lovely synergies that, you know, 20 years later, he was riding for these people on a regular basis. When he won the Irish Derby from my mother and Grey Swallow, it was a very special day. It is Grey Swallow who wins the Derby for Pat Smollett and Dermot Wells. I was very fortunate to travel the world with Dermot and we had a lot of success, but if I was to pick one, it's the Epsom Derby on Harden. When you start to dream of being a jockey, the first race that comes to your mind is the Epsom Derby, so to be able to achieve that was something very, very special. First, number six, Marzal. Mullen, the nine times Irish champion jockey, has been diagnosed with cancer. He was at his prime. He looked so well, he was so fit. He worked so hard at his career. It was hard to believe. I had been through cancer myself. So for me, it was heartbreaking to hear. I knew something was not quite right. Learned pretty quickly it was serious. 
But when you're told, it, it's just like being hit with a, a hammer between the two eyes. I'll never forget my wife Angela walking in. Frances had rang her. We were obviously waiting for the results of the scan. And I just knew by her reaction, by the way she looked at me, and it was, it was just devastating. Everybody was upset, still are. There is nobody more deserving of the award than Pat Smullen this year. Dermot Weld was very good to Pat Smullen to take him on in the first place as a young, up-and-coming jockey. Well, Pat Smullen paid him back over and over again. Just look at the record. He's been nine times champion jockey riding for me. His work ethic has been huge and his total involvement here has been very much appreciated. I owe Pat Smullen a lot. He set me up in business. We became great friends and even got my wife out of it. He was a, a total professional. Uh, everything he did, um, like he gave it all in, in every way, and that's the way he is as, as a human being. If you got a young jockey in and you said, just be like Pat Smullen, you wouldn't have to tell them anything else. What more can you ask for somebody uh, to be the, the, the one that everybody should aspire to be like? <laughs> He's the professional's professional. He's never been anything but an absolute gentleman and the affection that people in the industry have for him is so evident, it's so obvious and it is so heartfelt. I'd like to think that throughout the 25 years that I was a jockey that I conducted myself in a, in a proper manner and, uh, and I think that's, uh, that's something to be proud of.